Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a get ready with me and a period talk video mixed in one. I'll leave Madeline Jean's period talk video and channel in the description because her video is where I got a lot of these questions from because they were really good questions. So um, I borrowed them for my video. So I'll leave her stuff in the description because um, that's only fair to me, like credit your work. So I have the questions here. I just filmed this introduction before and then my phone decided to mess up so I'm a little bit moody right now but it's fine I'm just worried that this is going to mess up again and then none of this footage is going to be recorded because not only did my phone mess up and just stop the recording the recording didn't save so if this happens again I'm going to be quite annoyed as you can imagine let's just get into it and just pray that that doesn't happen because i have other videos i need to film today i don't want my phone just not working the whole day so we can't have that i've also been vlogging today so yeah i need to be able to continue that vlog um mario badescu skincare facial spray with aloe cucumber and green tea always done out that way but yeah first period story so the story of when you first got your period um mine's a bit of a funny one because i was very in denial about getting my period i did not want to have it so i wasn't gonna have it my mentality mm, doesn't work that way huh yeah, let's just say I was very in denial. I'll explain further, hang on. Shampoo probably isn't the right thing to wash my brush with, but it's what's happening currently. Anyway, so what happened was I was in year seven and it was towards the end of the year. I want to say like September-ish. Um, for whatever reason, that's the month that always comes to mind whenever I think of it. So I feel like that's for a reason. And I was in PE lessons. Um, and I had this one teacher, her name was... I can picture her, and I can tell you an awful lot about her, but why can't I remember her name? What was her name? Oh my god, I know her name. I had her for two years. Oh my gosh, what's her name? Me and my friend were literally talking about her the other day. Because we both had her. I'm actually baffled. What was her name? I actually don't know her name. If I can remember her name in editing, I'll put it on the screen. But I have no I cannot remember her name for the life of me. Watch, I'll remember halfway through this video. Anyways, so I had her, whoever she is. We had PE, so everyone was playing Diamond Cricket. I hate Diamond Cricket because I hate cricket. So I didn't really want to participate in the first place. But that's besides the point. I had diamond cricket and like we started playing and everything and then I just got these awful pains and I was like what the heck is going on? I didn't really understand because I hadn't really had pains like that before but I was trying to convince myself that it was normal and that I had. Even though I knew I hadn't. Um, and I told her about it. Me really struggling to remember her name. Um, I told her about it and I was like hey miss I have these really bad pains. I don't exactly know what's going on. Can I please sit this one out? She's really understanding. She's a really lovely teacher. Yeah, so she was just like, yeah, no worries. Um, Do you want to go to the bathroom and check if you've got your period? Have you got your period before? And I was like, no, I've never got my period before. And I know this isn't it. This can't be my period. I know it's not it. Foreshadowing. <laughs> yeah, funny. Anyways, um, so... 
So I was very stern with her and was just like, no, I don't have my period. I know I don't have my period. I know that's not what this is. And, um, you know, I probably should have listened to my health teacher. Because obviously she'd know best. Um, but I didn't. So... <laughs> So I sat out and, you know, was dealing with these pains and <sighs> trying to tell myself that it was normal and that I definitely don't have a period because that's definitely not what this is. <sighs> so I was wearing bike shorts, black bike shorts, black underwear and my PA shorts, which were blue, like royal blue ruggers. Thank God I was wearing those bike shorts because if I hadn't, I would have had blood on my bum and everyone would have seen. But I basically, this was last period by the way, so right before we went home, and I basically just sat out on that period and, you know, tried to ignore it, was really confused as to why my stomach was hurting so bad. I literally thought I was dying. And then I went home and then I got to the bathroom and I looked down when I pulled my pants down and there's just blood and by that point I was like ha really should have listened to my teacher um but I didn't and yeah so they had gone through my undies into my bike shorts but didn't go any further than that because my bike shorts were pretty thick thank god and um yeah so I didn't freak out when I saw it I was just like ah oh, should have listened sort of thing so I was like fine I didn't freak out like a lot of girls do and I was just casual about it and whatever. So that's like my first period story. Um, there's more to it, but I'll mention it later because there's a question relating back to it about how did you tell your mum? And that's to finish that story off. I'll come back to that. So yeah, that's how um, I got my period for the first time. This brush is just really not wanting to be cleaned. So we're just gonna give up on that right now and dry it. Maybelline Age Instant Age Rewind Concealer in shade Fair Claire. His eyelashes stuck to it. <laughs> so the next question is do you get bad cramps? Yes I get very bad cramps. Um, yeah it's not pleasant that's for sure it's definitely not a pleasant thing. Um, but everyone's different. Some people get cramps, some people don't. I know my friend doesn't get any sort of pains at all. And I mean like must be nice bitch, but it's fine. Yeah, so she's very lucky in that sense. But I definitely get really bad cramps. Um, I get them a few days before I even get my period. So I know it's coming and it's the worst thing ever because it's just like these cramps go on for much longer than they should, but whatever. It's definitely a good warning sign to be like, hey, you're getting your period in a few days, watch out. Hope you didn't make any plans. My face is literally turning orange because even Fair Claire is not light enough for my skin. That's ridiculous and that's how you know this is too orange, don't. Maybelline, get your shit together. I guess I answered that question pretty well. I get extremely bad cramps and pains. I get really bad back pains and like all sorts um i'm generally bedridden for the first two days especially on the second day the second day is always the worst for me um i feel like this is the same with a lot of people but like you know like i said everyone's a difference maybe it's not i'm gonna take some rimmel perfect match foundation in the shade porcelain bare porcelain and um yeah i'm just gonna blend that onto my neck as well because the concealer is not blending on my neck because I have a very dry neck so that happens all the time I'm used to that so I just have to blend it with a bit of a light coverage foundation Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I put it oops, a little bit under my eyes and on like really bad pimple spots See, so yeah, I'm breaking out a lot, which tells me I am probably getting my period soon because I probably am due for it. Don't know, but yeah. <laughs> Yay. That's very on brand for this video, isn't it? Oh, and Tarte Shape Tape was in the shade Pet Neutral. Now I get the Chi Chi 
highlighting and contouring palette just looks like that and start setting my farts get like number four and yeah literally just start setting my face i take number three because it's yellow oops because it's yellow toned and it helps with dark circles and i get it on my beauty blender and i just kind of press it in so the next question while i'm doing this is how did you tell your mum? So, back into the story before, once I got it, saw that I had it when I was sitting on the toilet, I just went straight to my mum's room and I was very casual about it. I know a lot of people are like scared to tell their mums or whatever, but like, I got my period, like, who cares? So, yeah, I just went in there. I was expecting it to be nice to me. Um, you know, I just got my period or whatever. Yeah, I went in there and I was like, hey mum, um, I just got my period. And then she was just like, what? What are you talking about? And I was just like, oh, I just got my period, what do you mean? And I was like, you know, like very casual about it because I, I got my period, <laughs> it was bound to happen. Like, what do you mean? And um, yeah, she was very angry. Um, I don't know if she was going through something at that point, but yeah, she was definitely very angry at me um, saying there's nothing that she can do about it because um, she doesn't have any pads or anything like that. And I was just sitting there like, really? Like, you don't, you don't have any pads, even though your daughter's 13 years old and is due to get her period any time now and you didn't have pads prepared for me? Like, what? Um, so yeah, I was just kind of like, um, okay. She's like, you're gonna have to go use toilet paper. And I was like, that's gonna go through so quickly, but you know, whatever, mum. So I went and used toilet paper and, um, yeah, I think she came home later that night with pads. But yeah, she just wasn't happy to hear that news. And um, yeah, she told my dad and apparently my, my stepdad. Apparently he freaked out which was like, is she okay? You know, does she need anything? Like very caring, I guess is the way to say it. Which is ironic because my dad thinks periods are disgusting. But I guess getting it for the first time kind of shocked him. Was just kind of like, oh, like shit, she's growing up. Um, did she need anything, little thing, and like actually worried about me, sorry, I just dropped something, asking if I needed anything, um, yes, I needed pads, dad, but um, yeah, didn't get those until later that night, but yeah, oh, now I'm just taking, I just literally just, well, yeah, you've seen it all before, anyways, so, um, that's how I told my mum, <laughs> I was just very casual about it, saying, hey, I got my period, like, help, <laughs> And uh, yeah, she was angry, so <laughs> that was a great first time to tell your mum that you got your period and she gets crumpy at you for it, like it's your fault. <laughs> thanks mum. Um, love you, but like, thanks mum. It was a great first experience. Do you have a period horror story? Yes, I do. <laughs> uh, I don't want to go back to that time, but... Yes, I definitely do, and as most period horror stories go... It was at school. And I was in art class, I think I was in year 9 or maybe 10. And I obviously knew I had my period. Is that true? I can't remember now, was I wearing a pad or was I not? Yes, no, okay. I was wearing a pad, so because I knew I had my period. And... It was day 2. And when I looked in my bag at break time, this break time was right before art class. When I looked in my bag at break time, I realized I didn't pack a second pad. I would just put a bunch in my bag so they were like always there. And you know, I would like refill them like every few months because I would like stock my bag up. And uh, yeah, the day before on my first day, so day one, um, I had used the last one and I forgot to restock that night and I put one on that morning as per usual and art class was the last period as well this was break two and yeah I had realized oh crap I have nothing to change into now me being a dumbass I didn't think to ask anyone else if they had something I was just like just hopefully you make it until art class and then home hopefully you can make it home no 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 so, um, I had taken ibuprofen that day, 
so I couldn't really feel the pains. I kind of wish I hadn't done that now. Yeah, I couldn't feel the pains and generally I don't take ibuprofen because like it's, this is going to sound stupid to some people and like whatever to other people, but like it's not natural to be taking medicine when you're on your period and I just kind of take it as it comes, like I just kind of deal with the pain, like it's, it's what happens when you're on your period, you know, so I just kind of generally don't take medicine when I'm on my period, I don't like it, it's not natural or like. I took it then because obviously it was day two and pains must have been really bad at school so I just took it and generally because I don't usually take it that's kind of how I equate how much blood is coming out how fast my blood's coming out blah 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 to my pains because I can feel it and because I took the upper pressure I couldn't feel it and I was sitting in art class on the little stools that they had as chairs which are not good for your back mind you yeah, I was sitting on one of those and then I got up to do something, I can't remember, and then I think it was Caitlin or maybe Charlotte. I know it was like one of my really close friends in that class told me. What's that on your seat? And I was like, oh, fuck. as soon as I heard that, I knew. And I looked down and yep, yeah, there was just some blood on the seat. Cool. And, um... Instead of like, you know, cleaning it up and going to the bathroom and cleaning myself up. I just sat back down on it because I was like embarrassed. And didn't want anyone else to see because like, it was like a whisper. Like, it was just kind of like, oh, there's like something on your seat sort of thing. It wasn't like a, what's that on you? Like, it was no one knew except for us two. Yeah, so I just sat back down on it. It wasn't like a lot of blood. It was just like you could see like a slight smear. So that meant it had bled through into my skirt, through my skirt and into the... Onto a chair. I just sat back down on it because I was embarrassed and I didn't want to get up and it was probably five minutes until the bell was going to go so everyone was just sitting down talking waiting for the bell to go. I was shooting myself. <laughs> and um, Or blaming myself, whatever. I really didn't want the bell to go, I just wanted to sit there and just like cry, I was like so emotional. So that happened and because I was like trying to cover it up and everything, like I was trying to like make my bag as loose as it could be so it could like hide my bum and everything, I was trying to get to my bus. The one, the one day my bus decides to come early because my bus that I used to catch would always be there five minutes after the bell. The one day decides to come early and I'm slow as heck walking down to the bus stop because I'm like trying to cover my backside and the art block and then the bus bays. So it was a long walk. Whenever I had art class last, you always had to kind of run to the bus space because even if it came five minutes after, like you'd only just get there. It was like a, it was a decent walk. That would happen on the one day I needed it to not happen. The bus came early, so I'm being slow walking down there because I can't walk any faster. And um, <laughs> I got there, and I saw my bus. And I saw everyone waving at me as the bus is going past. I was like, oh cool, cool. Now I have to walk home while I'm still bleeding. Still have blood on the back of my skirt. It's a long walk home and my ibuprofen's starting to wear off. So I'm in pain. Cool, love my life. So as you can imagine at this point, I'm hating my life for obvious reasons. And yeah, I had to walk home, which is generally anywhere from a 45 minute walk to an hour walk, depending on how fast you walk. So can we all kind of see where this is going? Depending on how fast you are, I couldn't walk fast. Just to really, you know, cherry on top of the cake. Andrew, if you ever watch this. Andrew is a male in my year, who was also in my art class, walks home. And he lives near me at that point. I kind of forgot about that. He's also walking with his other two friends that I cannot remember who they were. But yeah, Andrew and his two friends, male friends, were walking behind me. While I was bleeding, while I had blood on my undies, while I was in pain and while I was walking as slow as a fucking tortoise. Okay, so 
things weren't looking up for me at all. Not at all. <laughs> I just really hated my life, okay? He's walking behind me with his other two friends and then eventually we get to a point where we're at, I can't even remember the name of the street, I think it's called like Oberton, Ober, I have no clue, starts with something. And his other two friends disperse um, and it's just Andrew now. And I still felt so awkward because he's just walking behind me and has no clue why my bag, A, was like at my bum, looked like a freaking retard. And um, why I was walking so slow. I think he overtook me at some point. I got on the phone with my friend Steph. Shout out to you when you're watching this, Steph. And I'm freaking out on the phone to her. Saying, Andrew's walking behind me, I missed my bus, I bled through my skirt. Blah, blah, and I'm like freaking out. But Andrew's like, five meters behind me. So I'm whispering this in the phone, hoping he can't hear me. So embarrassed. <laughs> and um, yeah, she stayed on the phone with me the whole walk home, which I really appreciate. Thank you, Steph. Um, she didn't have to do that, obviously. <sighs> but fuck. <laughs> mm. I was a mess and a half that day. He eventually went that way and I went that way because we didn't live right next to each other. Like, he lived that way, I lived that way. But, like, pretty much the whole way home, which was, like, a 45-minute walk initially, he was behind me and then like for the extra 15 minutes I walked the other way no one was there I went home I knew like he didn't really know what was going on because like how would he know but like it was still embarrassing just because it looked like because he didn't know what was going on I must have just looked like that was normal which makes me look even more of a retard because like that was not normal <laughs> at all yeah that's my period horror story for you hope you enjoyed it I did not and yeah oh so, I just used a yellow banana powder, don't even know, don't ask, and yeah, just carved out my cheeks, but it's meant to be a get ready with me, and I'm forgetting to tell you what I'm doing. But yeah, okay, so now, oh, okay, that's a bit too much powder. Looks like I was doing something naughty. So, now I'm going to move on to eyeshadow. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? I want to do a neutral look, so I can do like a red lip, or like a red-ish lip, it's like a reddy pink that I have gesturing the fact that I'm doing a um there we go it's this car gesturing the fact that I'm doing a period talk right now so I kind of want to do like a neutral on the eyes and then a red lip so that's not going to go well because I really suck at putting lipstick on and it's going to look really uneven but like I'll probably wipe it off afterwards I don't know we'll see but yeah so I'm going to do eyeshadow now that was my period horror story yeah moving on <laughs> Thank you.